Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to create a glitch text effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop yet, Adobe is currently having a promotion where you can get all Adobe applications for over 60% off if you're a student or teacher. So make sure to check the link in the description. And yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So first things first, you want to type out your text. And I also noticed that this effect looks a lot better when your font or your text is slightly slanted. So we're going to italicize this. So you want to press on the text tool. You want to highlight your text and then you want to press control T and then these options will show up and you can just press this option right here and then it'll italicize the text for you. Next, you want to right click on your text layer and convert it into a smart object. Basically, once we apply this effect, we want to be able to turn it on and off without affecting the original text layer. Next, you want to go to the adjustments tab and go to threshold. And now if we zoom in here, you can already see that the edges are a little bit rough compared to when it's off. So basically this threshold effect is going to help roughen up the edges. Next, we're going to go to filter, pixelate, and mosaic. And so this is where the effect actually comes in. So you can increase it, but you want to keep it very low and very subtle. So I think anywhere from like five to 10 is good. So you can see how this looks like. I'm going to go with something stronger so you guys can see how that looks like. And that's basically how you create this glitch text effect very easily. And the great thing about having the smart filter is you can disable it anytime you want. You can just hide it and it goes back to its original state. And so, yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very short tutorial. If you want to check out my Discord channel, make sure to check the pinned comment below. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.